Hey, what's going on YouTube? UA Reviews here, and today I'm back with a football one-on-one -on -one video, and today we're going to talk about how to clean football cleats. So I've gotten this question before, and I figured it would just be a good time to do it since uh, yesterday I went out and got my cleats dirty, so I figured it would be a good time to show you guys just a simple method on how to clean uh, any type of football cleats, no matter how dirty they are. Uh, just a simple, easy way to knock off the dust, the mud, and whatever else gets on them. Um, yesterday I went out, um, the grass that I was playing, or you know, just messing around on, doing some little workouts, um, it was just a very dry dirt. Uh, this is going to be pretty simple to get off. Uh, you don't want to let this sit in there too long, So, but I purposely let it sit overnight uh, for a day just to kind of show you the after effects. So maybe after a practice your cleats are going to have you know some dirt caked into the cleats, and if you can see like there's mud caked into there, and I'll show you how to kind of get that out. But what you want to start off with get your cleats, get a wet hand towel, wash towel, whatever you know you have available, kind of get it uh, lukewarm to kind of hot, and then get a toothbrush if it's really bad, an old toothbrush, preferably. Uh, but what you'll start off doing is, you know, just take your just take your wash rag, and if you see on this cleat here on the white part, yeah, you can kind of see the dirt. So, just go over it. You don't need to use soap. I'm not using soap on these. You could if you if you're really trying to get out the dirt, but these really aren't too bad. And I would just use if you're going to use soap, use like a a dish detergent, not like what you'd put in a dishwasher, but you know, something that you'd, you know, clean dishes with, a hand soap, you know, something mild. Um a detergent, you know, for like clothes isn't going to be necessary, but you can already tell that looks a heck of a lot better. Uh, but, you know, that's just kind of the thing with uh, white football cleats. It's going to happen. So now that we got most of the dirt and whatnot knocked off of the uh, top part of the cleats, we need to worry about the bottoms. So, first of all, you know, this is going to kind of be, depending on, you know, how muddy these may get, it may be kind of tricky, but what I would do is just kind of get most of it off, you know, with your rag so far. Just kind of get, because it's going to be, it, the dirt's going to collect in between the little creases of the cleat, no matter what your, you know, your pattern is on your cleats. Um, these actually, you know, have a lot of creases, these Nike ones do, and, you know, they're going to be kind of hard to get in between there. So that's why I got the toothbrush. And we will go kind of in between there to see if we can't scrape some of that dirt off there and, you know, move our towel down here. And just kind of get in there, just brush it. Maybe want to knock off some of that so kind of see what you're doing. This is working okay, but I'm going to try to, don't want to move too much of the dirt back onto there, you know, brushing these. But, you know, with the brush, you just kind of want to get in there, see if you can't knock some of that dirt out. Uh, you can also, you know, you know, you could bang them up against a wall. That kind of helps too. But the real tricky thing is, is with, well, I mean, with these cleats anyway, is they're getting... Stuff's getting, dirt would get stuck right in here, and that's kind of where you can, you know, if you slam your cleats just kind of gently up against, you know, a wall, you know, that'll kind of knock that out. You know, some other troublesome areas are like places back here on the back of the cleat. The toothbrush is easy to get between those areas and kind of knock some of that dirt out of there. Let's check on this one. We can, a little dirt right there we can brush out. And that got that. But... Like I said, use an old toothbrush. Don't use someone else's toothbrush. Use an old one you got. But yeah, um, kind of miss some spots down here. But you know, going through there, I mean, it's just a, this is it's easy to see. You know, the dirt on these. Uh, you know, for having white, having a white bottom on these cleats. So that's just really a simple way to knock off some of the dirt, and they look a heck of a lot better than you know when they started. So, you know, if they get too wet or if you got them a little too wet, you can always dry them off, you know, polish them up a little bit. And you'll have them looking uh, good as new for game day. You know, cleats aren't going to stay 
um, you know, clean for long, you know, but, you know, if you can knock off some of that dirt, at, you know, at an early time, uh, you know, that'll kind of help save it from either caking in there or, you know, making it to where it's impossible to get out, but uh, it did an okay job. So that's just what I've always done. It's just a, a simple, easy way. You don't have to put them in the, the washing machine or nothing. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Uh, just getting them all wet and everything. Um, it's just simple and easy just to get them, just kind of brush them off, get the dirt knocked off there. It's just a simple, easy way, and I hope this video helped you out. So I believe that's, that's I've had that question asked before, you know, how to clean football cleats. But that's just the, the simplest way that I know how, and it's just what I've done for years. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned next week for another Football 101 video, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.